if you have been wondering what's the perfect ratio of your veggies and beef in your meat pie sauce then this video is for you also remember to stick to the end of this video because i'll be unveiling my favorite seasoning cube brand <music> hi people welcome to my vlog my name is susan and i love all things diy now today i'll be sharing the recipe to my perfect ultimate meat pie sauce yeah and yeah all the spices the veggies and of course the beef i'll be using to create this ultimate meat pie sauce recipe also remember to check the description box description box beneath this video for a detailed list of everything i used to my pan i added some odorless vegetable oil now to this special fascia org is for adito gloria thank you so much for joining this family thank you so much next i went in with my spring onion and onion this is a mixture of it 50 50 next i went in with a paste a combo of ginger garlic and turmeric i added that into my saucepan and i stir this up well now if you're new to my channel thank you so much for joining please remember to subscribe so that i don't miss out on all my videos next i went in with my scotch bonnet always you know as atarudo yes added that in and stirred it up well now to my returning subscribers thank you so so much next i went in with my bell pepper i couldn't find green bell pepper when i was making this i went in with my red bell pepper and I added that in and I'm stirring that in then I'm going in with my beef my beef now you want to do this accordingly the way I'm doing it to get that perfect perfect sauce yes 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 so I stir this up well and if you notice I'm using my wooden spoon to stir next I went with my Irish this Irish has not been pre-boiled this is raw and cut in I added that in and I stirred it up well i'm going to leave that to cook for two to three minutes or until when i reach a little bit soft now i went with my carrot and then with my thinly sliced garbage now all these my veggies have been washed before now yes so i stir that in very very well if you have washed my 300 pieces of commercial meat pie that I delivered to a company you will know that I'm using a wooden spoon to stir my sauce because I don't want my sauce getting burnt yes that is why I'm using a wooden spoon you can also use a wooden spatula or whatever you call it but please let it be wooden so I stir this up well now I know we're familiar with this thickener that is always added to sauce I don't use that and these are all the spices I use please check the description box for a detailed recipe so i don't use that thickener because it removes that perfect crunch from my sauces so i will show you how i drain out my sauce now this is the seasoning cube brand or seasoning brand that i use and this is not a paid advert this is not a paid advert so i used onga one of my students actually introduced me to this and i love it this particular one has a ginger garlic onion and stock cube mixture this sachet one then do have the seasoning cube this is so perfect it does not have that salty aftertaste of none sorry i had to mention that because that's a popular brand that we all use mostly use so this that's what i use so i added that all my spices in and i stirred it up well then once I was true, I poured my sauce into my basket to drain out all the oil rest. This is how I prepare my sauce. This also makes the sauce get cool on time. So with this, you have that perfect crunch that that thickener doesn't provide. And this is how I make my perfect ultimate meat pie sauce i hope you enjoyed this video i look forward to seeing you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe if you have not and leave me a hi a subscribe and i'll give you a special virtual shout out in my next video thank you so much for your support and see you next time bye bye